I got a question for you. Why do they call it a sinus infection when it's simply caused by, and that is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. See, this is one of my videos on helping yourself at home with something called sinus infections. I don't really like to call it an infection because sinus problems aren't infections at all. Now you might ask, well, if they're not infections, what is it? And in this video, I'm going to show you how I treat my sinus problems and tell you what I use to correct the problem. I, I don't like to say cure it because that makes it sound like it's a disease. And sinus problems are not a disease. And so we are going to talk about how to fix it. So stay with me as I go through this process and you're going to learn how to take care of your own sinus issues at home with something that you can buy at your local health food store. Now, you have a big sinus cavity right in this area on each side of your nose. It's kind of just below your cheekbone here. Now you got some other sinus cavities up here, but these right here are the ones that cause the most problems. So now let's talk about how your sinuses gets uh, stuffy and stopped up. So you think about it. When I'm out in the garden and I'm working there, maybe I'm pulling weeds or I'm digging up the soil. Uh, maybe I'm digging up and planting something. <clears throat> What I'm doing there also is stirring up uh, mold and fungus. And you see, because I am close to the ground, I'm usually down on my knees, uh, I'm breathing in those mold and fungus spores. Now here's another question. What kind of environment does mold and fungus like to grow in? And the answer is dark warm and moist. So you see, I just described the condition in your nose and in these sinus cavities uh, of dark, warm, and moist. So that's what the mold does. It gets into these cavities, uh, it begins to multiply and grow. Your nose gets all stuffy, stopped up. Uh, your sinuses gets uh, full of mold and fungus, and now you got a sinus issue or a very unhealthy condition. I'm going to put two drops of this oil on my finger and rub it down on one side of my nose and across the sinus cavity, and then I'm going to do the other side. As soon as you start feeling like you're getting a stuffy nose or a little bit of drainage down your throat, then you need to do this about four times a day and you might need to do it for a couple days to completely knock it out. I repeated the process on both sides of my nose because I really do want to get a good coating of oil on this sinus problem. One note of caution here, don't get this in your eyes because it is going to burn. Now this is not the oregano like you put on your pizza. This comes from the high mountain areas of the Mediterranean and it must say on the bottle P73 because it is the only one that I have found that works.